Yo, 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 what's going on, Lockout Men? And I'm back with another podcast for January 1st, 2020. What's going on, y'all? How did y'all bring in the new year? How did y'all do it? Yo, there I am, Lockout Men, in the truck, on the 30 for this podcast today, January 1st, 2020. How did you guys bring it in? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Okay, anyway. But uh, let me see if we can make this festive right quick. Hold on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> 2020, y'all. What's going on? So I, my 2020, I brought it in driving. I drove into the 2020. <laughs> I got up last night at about 10-ish, about 10-ish, got on the road at about 10.30 or something like that, rolled down I-10, and I seen fireworks all over the place. Hey, let me ask you guys a question. What is the point of shooting? What is the point of shooting your guns on, on New Year's Eve or into the New Year's morning? Where did that bullet go? Have, have you guys ever thought about that, like, where do that bullet go? Like, the velocity of the bullet that you shoot goes up. What goes up comes down, right? The velocity, do it, go, do it come down at the same velocity? I don't know. I don't know. This, <laughs> I don't know. Don't, look, all questions is not stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying. I am just saying. Look, 2020, as I was saying, I drove it in. Uh, I wished all my family, you know, last night, you know, I called up my moms, my sister, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my moms, my sister, my family, everybody that I know. I called them up. I was like, hey, happy new year, yada, 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 what y'all doing? They at home chilling. I'm on the road driving. That's not fair. I wanted to be at home chilling. I wanted to be at home sipping Dawn Perignon, bringing in the new year. But you want to know who do, who who do I really feel for? I really feel for the cleanup crew in New York. <laughs> I feel for them. I feel for them something bad. <laughs> I feel for them something bad, man. That's crazy. What they have to they what they have to do to clean up that whole. Times Square area, man. It's woo. And for the people that that go down there to experience it, from what I hear, is to experience it is only one time because there's no porta potty. It is cold, and you're packed like sardines down there that you can't move. Imagine getting up out of there. All right, getting up out of there must have been a bitch. <laughs> okay. So happy New Year, happy New Year! Again, I am here at the at the Lamar at the um, at the Love's Trust stop right here, where where professional prostitutes come in and out this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was here. I wasn't here, but I was in. Uh, I was up the street at the Mike's Trust stop when I did the Lot Lizard video. So go check that video out. It's it's this one, this video right here. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Hold on. Yep, there it is, right here. Trucking Adventures, Episode 6, Lot Lizards, back in 2017. I was right here. <laughs> uh, 2017, back in the day, man. Back in the day. So, look, I, I just want to I, I wanna say... Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you to all my viewers that made twenty that made twenty nineteen a success for us on YouTube. The No Drama channel is still continuing to be no drama, even though there's a lot of drama on YouTube. A lot of drama. All I could just say is, go to Guilty Seven One Eight's uh, channel and check out the recent video, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. Drama. Drama. But anyway, as for me, I am just happy to be here. God gave me the opportunity to see another year. And 
I am going to make the best of it. I'm going to make the best of it with my health. Going to make the best of it with best uh, financial uh, financial health. Going to make the best of it with the family. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just going to just going to do it. So, this video right here, this podcast right here, I was able to come down to Texas and meet up with two of my favorite female YouTube truckers. One of which, one of whom, let me let me see if I can. Let me see if I can bring it up. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Ah, uh, hold on right quick. Hold on. Doop. I got to I got to I got to find it. <laughs> uh, is this it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There it is right there. Right there. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me bring it up. There we go. Uh, bam. There it is. This video right here behind me, I met up with the girl. The girl. Queen Trucker. Yes, sir. I met up with her. Uh let me let me see if I can fast forward. There she is. Yep. I met up with her, Queen Trucking. Guys, I'm about to go ahead and, you know, share this video right quick. Um, go ahead and put it together. So that will be that will be put up uh, probably after this podcast. So I would definitely uh, I would definitely uh, put that together so you guys can see. And I met up with. Hold on. Hold on. And I was, and I had the pleasure of meeting up with. Uh oh, wait. I think I'm in front of her. There she is, Shape World. Let me move out of the way. I was able to meet up with Shape World. Yes, sir. So I will be putting that video together as well. You know. I anyway, so what's going on with you? Let's walk and talk because we gotta. I gotta. I gotta bounce. Yeah. See, I wish I can. Uh, I wish I can. Uh, Hold on right quick. Doop. Yeah, I wish I could, uh, you know, I wish I could have stayed there with her and chopped it up with her a little bit more. But unfortunately, I couldn't stay because I was on a I was on a load that I had to pick up at a certain time. So when I was down there, I was able to chop it up with her for the little bit of time that I was down there. And it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure uh meeting up with shape world especially shape world because me and her been knowing each other for quite a while and that was our first time actually meeting up down there so i am happy to say that i actually got that out the way you know 2019 was was good enough to get me down to uh, down to texas and meet up with two of my favorite youtube truckers so what's going on y'all 2020 what do you what do you guys got set for 2020 what do you what do you guys got set what's what's going on what 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 do you guys want for 2020 what goals do you guys want do you guys want uh prosperity health you want financial you want what, what do you want mental state finance uh mental state stability what do you guys want i don't know me personally i just I'm just blessed to see another year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hoping I'm hoping to be blessed to see another, you know, another decade. You know what I'm saying? From 2020 to 2030. Can y'all believe it? It is 2020. Whew. All right. Hey, what's going on in trucker news? Let's let's see. Let's see if we can find anything uh in trucker news today let's see trucker news uh, usually i get my trucking news info from from facebook i i think i gotta hold on right quick i think i got a a facebook question you know new jacks that's coming into the that's coming into the game right now um i seen uh i seen a couple of them ask some questions like like this guy right here, he says, 
can you have a felony and still drive trucks? Now, I don't I don't know if if you can have a present felony. I don't think you can have a present felony and still drive trucks. OK. Now, if you have a felony that was like succeeded, like, you know, like five, six, seven, eight years ago, then yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, these drivers coming out of um, coming out of prison. I don't know if I can actually find it. Let me let me see if I can find it. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. These drivers that's actually coming out of prison. They they are they are getting their CDLs. In prison. Let's see. Nope. Hold on, give me a second because you know I always got to I got to pull it up for you. I got to pull it up. Do 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 do. Let's see. Yep, here it is, right here. All right, I'm about to I'm about to bring it up on screen. All right, so right here, 45, 45 Florida inmates complete CDL training behind bars. The inmates spent hundreds of hours training to pass their CDL courses. Dozens of inmates at the Florida prison was recognized for completing their commercial driver's license. This was back on December 20th. So the secretary of uh, the secretary of Florida Department of Corrections was on hand to attend the ceremony. There it is. Twelve guys. The CDL program offered by the prison requires a minimum of 150 hours of training, including 20 hours of classroom work, 20 hours behind the wheel training and similar simulator training, three hours per day for two weeks according to the Santa, Santa Rose Press Gazette. Students will still be required to pass their written, I mean, their written and skills test to officially earn their CDLA or CDLB. So, yeah. Yeah, so can you, have a, can you be a felon and still drive a truck? Yeah. Yeah, you can, but it depends on how long the felony was and what kind of felony was it you know what i'm saying so when you call up these trucking companies and you do your your research definitely make sure you find out what what is the what's the minimum time that you need to you know to be off the felony fel felonly felonly felon list i guess uh, other trucking news right here. This guy says, this guy question is, he wants to get his CDL. Is it possible to get trained locally and don't have to go on the, over the road? Uh, and wait, wait, I messed all, I, I messed all that up. I, I, I just messed all that up. Let, let me bring it up on the screen for you guys right quick. I want to get my CDLs. Is it possible to get trained locally and do not have to go on the road for training? Well, it, it, it depends on who you go with, bruh. It, it really is. I've read somewhere that, let me see. Let me see where I read it at. Uh, I think I got it. Hold on. Is it right here? Uh, uh. So I read this article right here that says that how to find a job, how to find a job with no experience. Well, if you you coming in and you want to find a job locally with no experience, is it hard? You know, without going over the road first. Yeah, but it's possible. It's possible. This guy right here says, it's been weeks since I graduated CDL school and I have and I have already been offered a job at $18 an hour with a local milk delivery company driving a class B truck. But he has his class A. 
He said, for people that's asking, is it possible to find a local job with no experience? It's possible, but you just have to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? You had to put in the work. Now, what, you, what you're doing is going to Facebook, you're going to YouTube, and you're probably going elsewhere to put in the work. But with this, what I find what this gentleman says, I, I like it. I like it. He says, the last week I've been driving around town writing down names of all day cab trucks on the road that I passed. I then find these companies uh, contact information and office location. I either called them or just showed up with a simple resume and told them that I'm looking for a class A or a class B driving position and was straightforward about being straight out of school. I even went to CDL staffing agency where I was told that I, that I would need to at least drive at least a year over the road and no one will hire me. But but that was that wasn't the case for this gentleman now a lot of a lot of companies will tell you yo you got to get over the road experience when you call some of these places that that you're looking for they do require you to do over the road i had one guy that that asked me um when i was with jnr shrugel and i passed this information on to katie but she told me that being that he was you know, driving local at the uh, at the uh, yard. You know, he was a yard guy, and he's been driving there for like five years. He was still. She couldn't bring him in because he didn't have no actual over the road experience. And I kind of scratched my head on that, and I'm like, well, dude, been driving. Well, he's been, you know, jockeying trailers for five years. I would I would think that he will probably be a good candidate because he got experience in blind side backing, side backing, whatever backing that there is because driving the trailer is easy. Backing that bad boy is the problem. It says here, it says he posted an ad on Craigslist. Don't mess with Craigslist. Tell me why when I go look for a local job on Craigslist, Tell me why Swift, U.S. Express, J.N.R. Schwugel, and the and Knight and the rest of these guys pop up for local. Y'all not local. Y'all do not have no local positions. U.S. Express lo local is like the family dollars. I'm not trying to break my back. Y'all not local. Why why do y'all got lo why do you, why do y'all advertise local and y'all not local? don't do that it says if you he says if you want a local job without experience go go out there and get it just don't call or put in the application online go down to the company tell them what you want and and you know companies love this kind of initiative you go to pepsi you go to coca-cola you go to you you go to budweiser and you let them know like look I'm fresh out of school. Here's my here's my CDL. Give me a chance. And they might just give you a chance. He says that he got, you know, his driver's license, uh, you know, his driver's license record and his medical card, which he paid for out of his pocket. Well, you'll get a medical card when you go through school anyway. But he said you don't need to be in the suit or tie or dressed up either. This dude, he's like 22 years old with a gang of tattoos. So he says, uh, just go down there. He said the point that he's trying to make is don't let no one tell you that you can't find a local job with no experience. There is as, there is as much need for truck drivers today than, than a lot of companies is just begging for, you know, for us to come and work for them. So take this guy's advice, man. Take my advice. You know what I'm saying? If you if you trying to find a local job without experience and and that's what you want, do like he did. Write down every write down every day cab uh company's name and uh look for it and call them up. Call them up. That's all you gotta do. This is 2020, man. This is 2020. 
yo, you get if you want to do it, you got to do it. Let me see. Is is there any more? Let me let me see right quick. Hold on. I I gotta see. I it was it was it was a few. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's go back. Uh oh, can't go back. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here's some uh here's some trucking news for you truckers out here. Let me let me let you guys know what happened. Um, according to Trucker Jim. NFI acquires, hold on, I think they actually, yep, here it is, here it is, they actually brought it up, Trucker Jim actually brought it, uh, brought it to our attention, whoops, there we go, Trucker Jim, make sure you check out Trucker Jim's channel. But he actually brought it to our attention. Remember, remember uh, GNP? I called GNP back in the day. They was hiring. But now NF, NFI acquires South Carolina pay base GNP trucking. Now, how do you guys feel about that? GNP trucking guys, if you guys uh, would like to let me know in the comments or like to reach out to me to let me know how you guys feel about uh, the company uh, swallowing up uh, GMP. Uh, Trucker Jim, you know, he said on his channel that he he wants to, you know, he wants to give it a chance. You know, he said he wants to give it a chance. He thinks uh, he thinks that it's a, you know, it probably might be a good mixture of, you know, of the two companies. I don't know how long he's been there, but yeah, but definitely go check it out. It says third party logistics NFI Industries has acquired GMP Trucking Inc., a Columbia-based uh, logistics provider specializing in asset-based transportation, port dryage, and non-asset bro brokerage solutions. In a deal to inspect the strengthened NFI Southeast footprint, the company said today. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Go to Trucker. Now, if you guys want to know a little bit more information about that, definitely go to Trucker Jim's channel, and you know he'll he'll go into a a, a little bit more detail about um, about what's going on. Um, I know you guys seen this video. Being that I go down to Texas all the time, I want to see if you guys, uh, if you guys see it. Have you guys seen that video? Uh, what do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that driver? You think he's going to keep his license after all of that? <laughs> Y'all think he's going to keep his license after all of that? You know, of course he was driving too fast for the conditions, uh, the weather conditions. It was foggy, looked like it was wet, and looked like he couldn't see. He he didn't see anything ahead of him, but it in. In that case, he still should have slowed down. He should have slowed down, man. Ooh, excuse me. There's no food around here. What do I got to do to get some food around here, man? They, they got Chester's up in there. Who the hell eat Chester's? I don't eat that. Ew. I don't eat that. Well, that's it. Uh, let me see. That's it. I think. Uh... You guys already know Amazon stopped uh, FedEx from uh, delivering Prime uh, Prime loads. They stopped them from doing that. Uh, let's see. Let's, okay, here's one. Here, here's one. Hold on. Let's let's see what this one is. Hold on. All right. So here's one. 
before I get up out of here. This guy says, I seriously need to go back over the road, but thanks to Prime Inc. and other companies will not give me the chance. Yes, I made some mistakes. Yes, I regret them. Nobody's perfect, but we all make mistakes from time to time. Have one year of driving experience, nine months flatbed, one month flatbed, and seven months drive-in. So he was with Prime for nine months, Western Express for a month, and he's currently working for Laser Spot. He wants to know, uh, he wants to go back over the road, but nobody don't want to give him the opportunity. What do you guys think? What happened? What happened, bro? What happened? Uh, it says here he didn't, uh, he said that he, let me see. Everybody's asking him what happened, but he, oh, okay, here we go. He said he had uh, three minor incidents. Uh, neither of them was DOT recorded and no tickets was, uh, was given. But obviously the three minor incidents must have been enough for Prime and Western Express to let this guy go. So um, I will say fits your situation some companies will let you go for about six months so stay where you at where you working at for about six or seven months and uh give it another try what do you guys think leave it in the comments below what do you think this guy should do all right well 2020 edition of the uh podcast is here and done i gotta get some sleep because i'm getting up later on tonight got to roll again and um then hopefully you guys have a bless and um yeah have a blessed new year have a prosperous new year lock out men and i am here for you guys i want to just say thank you for everything that you guys have done for me in the 2019 i really do appreciate it i really do appreciate the subs the lights, and all of the coffees. Yo, continue. I will continue to bring you the best content that I probably can. So, in, in saying that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like that. And like this, Lockout Men for the 2020. I will come back at you guys with another video and another podcast i really do appreciate you guys y'all have fun peace